gospel scripture this morning, we have the story of John the Baptist. And John the Baptist calls the people to come to him for repentance, for the forgiveness of sins. He asks, they ask him, what should we do? And I think that's a question that we need to sit with for ourselves. What then should we do? What is it that we need to let go of within ourselves? What is it that we need to release so that we can move more fully into becoming the beloved creation of God? What did those people who came down to the river that day need to release and let go of? Maybe some of them had pain from childhood, trauma that they had experienced within their families of origin. And at that river that day, when they were dunked in the water and came back up, it helped to let go of some of that pain. Maybe some of the people that day knew they had hurt those closest to them over a stupid argument over where the shovel should go. And maybe they just needed to release that anger. Maybe that day at the river, as they were getting ready to be washed clean, they were thinking about the pain in their heart. about all that they had lost, about the job that no longer existed, about the family farm that was now gone. Maybe they were thinking about all those little pains and hurts, and they just wanted to go into that river and be made clean. So I invite you now to take that piece of paper and write down your hurts. Those things that you need to let go of, that pain that you need to release so that you can be washed clean. What then should we do? Those people who came down to that river that day and were cleaned in the water where their sins were forgiven, as they came back out of the water, they asked John, what then should we do? What happened in that moment between when they were in the water and when they next spoke to John? What questions did they have? What did they really want to know? This scripture teaches us that the question that you asked what then should I do? Comes from your own life, your own position. So those who have come to the water who have very little and haven't harmed others, they're given a charge, an assignment. If you have more clothes than you need, share those clothes with those who don't have any. If you have food enough to be full, take that extra and share it with those who have none. But when the tax collectors came, the government officials, those who, when they went to gather taxes, took more than was needed so that they could live a lavish lifestyle, when those people were washed in the water and came out of the water and asked John, what then should I do? He didn't say the same thing about clothes and food. He instead spoke to their condition, their place in the world, and he said, don't take more than is owed to you. What then should I do? What about me? The next people to come to John were the soldiers. Those 
within the next few moments who would probably arrest him. When they were called up by Herod, when they asked, what about me? John said to them, don't harass others. Don't cheat others. Be satisfied with what you have. He spoke to them from their place and position. Now, as I was thinking about this this week, isn't it ironic that those two questions about our government officials not doing what they should do and our police officers not doing what they should do are the same questions they were struggling with a thousand years ago, 2,000 years ago, that this is a constant struggle and why we seek out this water that cleanses us that changes us and transforms us. Because we need to always ask that question, what then should I do? When you have been clean, what then should you do? I invite you to just sit for a moment, quietly. Close your eyes and breathe in. And let the Spirit fall on you as you hear those words, as you ask those words of the Spirit, what then shall I do? Listen. What then shall I do? When Jesus prayed those words, he was called beloved. And he set out and proclaimed the good news.